Our journey begins in college, where the Ritzfield Dust Devils are not a good team. But with constant NIL dollars flowing in from an NFL team, it should only take a couple of years to make a splash. Throughout the journey, the newest NFL expansion team out of DFW, the Texas Twisters will do all they can to compete, but honestly are playing the long game and awaiting the arrival of stud players from their minor league team. Nothing like this has ever been done before. NIL is changing the college game in so many ways, but the biggest change was yet to come. Head recruiter for the Texas Twisters little sponge found a loophole that was sure gonna send the opposition into a whirlwind naturally he went to the owner and pitched a brilliant idea the rest was history the texas twister spent 200 million to start up their own college got them in the new look pack 12 while also agreeing to funnel in more than 100 million dollars a year in annual nil spend this college was literally built to be a minor league team for the texas twisters hence the ritzville dust devils were born the catch exclusive rights no other nfl team can touch a ritzville dust devil in the draft roger Goodell and the NFLPA didn't like it, but the plan was bulletproof. After all, this team isn't here to make friends, but to win a Super Bowl, and they're going to need Ritzville to produce national championship players to do it. We may be bad now in Ritzville, but with a surplus of cash coming in, we can hit recruiting really hard and start this rebuild right. I mean, look at how many people are enticed by that dollar. Maybe Devin Ah Yu will be the one. It didn't take long for one to like the bag thrown their way. Insta commit in the preseason is Dwayne Carew. Ah, it's you again. Devin looks good gem rating 91 throw power 84 speed if that doesn't work out i'll go for joey telkenberg good looking dude out of hawaii dust devils off to a one and one start in their inaugural season and just to give you a glance at how rough and tough the year is gonna be we are eight overall less than the eastern michigan eagles and so because of that we're not gonna jump into too many games early in the rebuild we gotta double down on building this squad and getting them right but heck while we're here we can check out the home field abc the home unis get a feel for what it could be all about once once we get this crowd rocking in the future. The crispy combination of red and sandy, it looks good on these guys. And fun fact, Ritzville is dust devil capital of the world, which is why the Texas Twisters out of DFW thought it'd be great to throw this little town of Washington a team. Figuring heck, it's good for the economy, it's good for the sport. Why not put another team in the Pacific Northwest where it's beautiful up there, cash, money. But you get the gist of it, it's gonna be a long way till the top if you want to rock and roll. At home, we're not the favorite against the Eastern Michigan Eagles, believe it or not. Cross midfield here, Olsen's going to step up and give one to Strickland. First down, maybe we can catch a little desert flurry here and pick up some turbulence. Olsen to McClawler, touchdown. There it is. Dust Devil history, first score on the home turf for y'all to witness. This new look Pac-12 is going to need to watch out for our boys once we give it a few years of rebuilding. Will we find any NFL? gems ready for the Texas Twisters. I don't think so this year. One thing led to another and shocker, we fall in this one. 17-14 Eastern Michigan claimed it. With this coaching staff and the NIL dollars flowing in, that's unacceptable, which is why I'm putting my head down to work and we're going to go crazy. Looking at some of the nation's best like Ray Bynum, Ty Murphy, Nicholas Cotton, we're squeaking our way to the front, tossing one heck of a bag their way. Some guys like Robert Ralden want to go to a championship contender now where others like Amari Peters care about that brand exposure and what an NFL back team will do for his brand. All coaches got to do is reel them in. So let's remove the house and just kidding, we can't hard sell them yet, but we most definitely can hard sell Ty Murphy. And yeah, let's take it to the house. This six foot six receiver with 97 jump, 93 speed would be an immediate day one contributor. So let's give him a quick visit and get him that ride in a Lambo. Switching up to the hard sell, getting some visits, it unlocked us our first true way wave. Devin Ayu is the one coming in. 84 speed, 91 throw power. This gem quarterback should be in the conversation to start, but he's not alone. Colin Pope wants the throne. 93 throw power, 85 speed. A little bit better here on the attribute side. Regardless who gets the job, this gem receiver who we beat out Oregon for is going to be a deep threat and a big playmaker. 97 speed, 94 excel. We just lost a couple key players like Amari Peters, Tecklenburg, Nicholas Cotton, one of the best linebackers out there. Ross Overhauser, one of the better DTs. So yeah, all that kind of blows, but no one, and I mean, no one can say we are weak at receivers. We just landed another one, six foot six, Ty Murphy, five-star welcome to the squad. And another one to test for the throne is George Suggs, a five-star athlete with a scrambler archetype. He's got platinum off platform, 89 speed, 93 excel, 93 throw power. This dude is a baller out of Fort Collins. So yeah, safe to say the NIL bag's coming through on the offense. If we didn't have enough receivers, 
favors already. I just found Connor Shelley on the panel, 98 speed, 96 XL. Six foot four, platinum layout, platinum winning time. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. For an inaugural season, year one was a win on the recruiting front. You just saw Marvin commit to us here at the end of the season, but man, we can't say it was a good year for the troops. Look at how many losses in a row. That's a seven game losing streak to finish out three and nine. Just not a good year at all on paper. So much needs to change, but we can't get too nitpicky in only the team's first season because the Texas Twisters sure know what they are doing, pumping up their own college with NIL dollars landing the eighth best class in their inaugural season. That's unheard of. Who doesn't want to play for this team? The better question is who could say no to this offer? In due time, it'll be us in this bracket, but what an enticing matchup here. Utah versus Texas A&M. Utah claims it. If we can pull some strings and land some good transfer portal players, we'll be in a good position. Heck, maybe Evan Sabota has had enough of the Wyoming lifestyle and wants to come play for the Dust Devils. Let's go now. Successful class and good addition here in Evan Sabota, the ex-Wyoming player, will start more than likely with all of our freshmen getting some exposure and battling it out for the following. Bingo, 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 bongo. Just one year in the books and a brand new looking squad. Much, much better and George Suggs is leading the way. In fact, we brought in four true freshman quarterbacks to battle it out, as well as transfer quarterback Evan Sabota to be a tutor to the young ones. Colin Pope's an impact, Devin Ayu impact, and Sergio Prince impact. No one star dev or higher, which is kind of a bummer. Late signee here, Nazir Thomas at running back is going to be a good one. And talk about wiping the slate clean with a lot of freshman receivers. Connor Shelley on top. Ty Murphy, the star. Tobias Judovowski might be the best of the bunch. Elite dev. Kevin Tut, our new tight end. And Marvin Starvin for more. Not too much to note on the defensive side this class. But all in all, I'm a happy camper. While the Dust Devils prepare for year two, let's go see how the Texas Twisters did in their first season. The Twisters managed to put together an average roster in year one, but I gotta call out the slam god michael thomas ready to see if he has any juice left to twist his way around the opposition in the preseason we got to see what the inaugural twister team was looking like and a first glance at their home stadium when they took on the packers the dallas fort worth market definitely big enough to hold two teams and check it out the dome is alive and well popping at every angle everyone excited to welcome the newest expansion team into the NFL. Primetime football, let me give you a quick recap on what went down. Down 20 to zero here before half, we knew exactly what we had to do. Michael Thomas slant, dial it up. After that worked one time, we took a bomb to Michael Thomas and he just exposed Jari Alexander. I'm pronouncing that wrong, but my goodness, Michael Thomas is gonna be one of our only hopes on this team. Able to mount up a little comeback here before halftime, I'm of course gonna go with the slant Thomas. But since it didn't work out, you know good is still a good choice for six. Definitely you can tell the team is in a preseason shape, but it's still a lot of fun. Sold out crowd for the first ever game in Twister history at this home stadium. Breaking news, they got spanked in this home opener, but it's a lot to be expected until we can build up them dust devils and get them into a shape where they're pumping in college players right to this program. We'll take the highlights here though, like a Michael Thomas and good touchdown. Need a new quarterback eventually. Yeah, this team's gonna need help along the way. And after a disappointing year one where we finished six and 11, the Jets take home the Super Bowl. Brian Tucker looked all right. The run game needed help and defensively, not too many stars minus Ben Jacobs really standing off the page. In the off season, we identified a couple free agents like Jamal Adams. Let's get him over to Dallas after all. Just the other Dallas team that is. Done deal, let's ride. We then used one of our first round picks to trade back nine spots and pick up next year's first round pick. At the NFL draft, I felt like there were a bunch of studs that could really help this team out. But as you see, we have just selected with our first round pick who is that man that's right it is travis hunter oh yeah he's coming to dallas that's right number six in true value drafted him with round one pick seven i think that's a great deal nothing like kicking off a franchise with a flashy playmaker like i mentioned earlier we have two first round picks it's just a matter of determining who should go with our selection i still see a lot of quarterbacks on the board but you don't get generational running backs quite like ashton genty he's a top fit here in dallas and trust me whoever created this roster no offense was sniffing a little paint because 56 and true value 
he's definitely a first round lock in my humble opinion. Uh, I'm not biased at all. Totally not a Boise State grad. Now in the second round with Quinn Ewers and Carson Beck picked up, Jalen Milrow is coming home. Solid speed and throwing ability. This should be a good plug and play. The Twisters continue to shake up the NFL. Wait till you see who they just selected with their second second round pick. They just got Milrow, but the war room's all excited, pumped up about this selection. Yes, sir. It's Shadur Sanders going to be reuniting with his old teammate, Travis Hunter. Draft recap, safe to say I'm I'm excited about what we got. From this file, Quinshawn Judkins was the highest overall, followed by Luther Burden, Pierce Jr., Ollie Gordon, and Perkins. Going into year two, the Texas Twisters are refreshed on offense, but we're gonna have to put their journey on pause because our primary focus is getting back to the college days. Let's go build up them dust devils. If you recall, we loaded up on offense. I have all true freshmen at the top five in the receiving room. Your boy Evan Sabota in tutorage mode, but I think Suggs got this. You know what's even crazier? Suggs in his debut game on the road against the Colorado State Rams. He's back in his hometown. Isn't college football romantic? Little Pac-12 interconference play. Let's go Ritzville. Let's suck him up. Defense went down and gave up a touchdown, but look at Suggs on a two-minute drill. I have full confidence he'll be able to step up and get this job done. Looks like Shelly's taken off out of there, so let's connect with our young gun, Freshy to Freshy, out of there. Touchdown, Dust Devils. Tying it up 7-7. Seven, seven. Defensive battle as the offense Offense looks to find their footing in the early season. Thankfully, Suggs, Shelly, and a couple others have come to play in Fort Collins. We gotta make his hometown return special. Not like that. Working it down into the red zone. Quick burst there off the line, and Judovowski just let him pick it. Crazy how things flashed before our eyes and second chances like this don't come often. Working against the clock here, 10 seconds left gonna get sacked maybe actually this time the speed dig will work and he'll get separation overthrown stadium pulse is rocking i don't know what to do i guess a quick out to shelly for nothing so it's ot football and i'm gonna need more defense out of a unit that's already held this team down make a play right into his arms in overtime what a blunder nice and easy now for your dust devils Suggs just needs to dial in and go for the win one play it's over shelly again what a big win here in week one for the Dust Devils. I think year two, I'm just going to speculate, it's going to be better than year one. Suggs looks like he has a few things to iron out, but coming in to Fort Collins, your hometown, and getting a win, oof, cherry on top. As impressive as it was from Suggs, Connor Shelley caps off. Will some of these players be NFL bound and twister ready? Or maybe some of these guys on the recruiting block like David Gomes, 98 speed corner, Brent McAdoo, the five-star lefty quarterback, Ron Byrne, Tommy Gentry, Kevin Vallejo, Jamie Reynoso, Dalton Bragg, and so many more with the potential of making impact in college and getting to that next league. You knew it was bound to happen, but if it's not one freshie, it's the other. Tobias cashing in big in week four. And wow, just like that, besides a loss to Kennesaw State, the Dust Devils are 6-1. and one. We recently lost a few big pieces like Brent McAdoo, but guys like Tommy Gentry, Jarek Melton, and Felix Aviles wanted to make it official, pen to paper. The year two ascent was spectacular, 24th in the nation and getting a bid to the New Mexico Bowl. You already know Dust Devils run rampant down in that desert terrain. But nah, man, this team turned it up. I don't know about you all, but I feel extremely well about George Suggs. Spreading the love on offense, while Jaquez Blanks was blanking any offense against us. No five-star signees for early national signing day, but 10 four-stars. That's big. Unfortunately, despite Tobias here and his big performance in the bowl game, we fall short. The Ohio State takes the national championship game this year, and we're already off into the offseason where a bunch of folks graduating, but no one hitting the portal. I mean, hold on now. If we just took a second to think through it logically, why would anyone hit the portal with the bag we're throwing at them? People that still want a bag, well, Noah Dunham, a four-star left guard, has my attention. Johnny Lester and Carter Menz round out my list. Lock that big boy in. Bro, do you think we're good now on quarterbacks for this team? We got at least nine guys that in due time could all be NFL caliber. Suggs took the biggest leap of all. A couple new guys like George Okafor, a star in the making. Marco Garrison, impact. And you know you're doing something right when your seventh string quarterback looks like this. Finally, some defensive replenishments like Tommy Gentry and Josh Suggy here keeping the team fresh. Before year three commences, you already 
already know we gotta see what went down for the Twisters in year two. The Twisters were off to a two and five start, so there's a quarterback change in this one. It's the debut for Shadur Sanders. I have high expectations in this one against the Chargers, Herbert and Co. taking on the Dallas Texas Twisters. With the quarterback change, I'm hopeful that we can turn the season around. Not only will we get to see our new guys in action, this will be the first game that Shadur is throwing to his old college teammate, Travis Hunter. Expect a movie in this one. Before we put so much focus on Shadur and Travis Hunter, can't forget superstar running back Ashton Genty on this carry up the middle, breaking tackles for six. He is a stud running back out of Boise State. Having a good run game is essential to settling in here in the bigs. Couldn't find Travis Hunter on the last one, but with a two minute drill here and a quick down to Travis, we'll get this thing moving. I'm hoping between Shadur Sanders, Travis Hunter, Ashton Genty, they can make this team competitive because as soon as we can add Dust Devils to the team, that will be the cherry on top which will get us over the hump. On this drive, Travis Hunter is definitely starting to come alive, reliable, and running it down this field. A great pickup, nonetheless, X Factor. Oh shoot, clock management, not our forte, but Ashton Genty with time expiring, going to the end zone. Oh no, he probably should have just trucked instead of hurdled. Making up for it here in the second half, it's back to Genty and the outside. He's that guy, pal. Man just has a step to him, outrunning any defender in his way. All tied up in the fourth quarter here. Gonna go with a quick dump to Genty once more, the star of this rebuild so far. Clearly a good looking game for Shadur as he finds Travis Hunter for six. Clean, efficient, and now reuniting with his college teammate. Down to the final minutes. The Twisters are able to ice this one out with just a few carries from Genty. That right here will go ahead and do it. So good, so efficient, and at least there's reason to be optimistic finishing out the second half of year two. This team can continue to get better for the second half, but I think they're gonna need a replenishment of Dust Devils to get to the Super Bowl. Just feels like a long way to the top. Given the fact Shadur came in for the second half of the season, he actually went crazy. 28 touchdowns, eight ints, 2,500 yards. It's not like Milrow was horrible, but the number Shadur just put up locked him in. We saw Genty have the great game, but 3.9 yards per carry in the season, not the best clip let's just say there's room to improve but travis hunter has arrived 1000 yards 18 touchdowns that's guaranteed rookie of the year i would imagine our next door neighbors an in-state rival here at the dallas cowboys win the super bowl but you see that right offensive rookie of the year belongs to travis hunter in just one year he became the best player on the roster no surprise here up to a 92 overall with just some insane stats in free agency we have a lot of money to play with and honestly i might need to give a guy like mark andrews who's still 30 years old has a few good years left in him a shot over here for the Twisters because the Ravens just aren't using him IRL, really. Looks relatively affordable. I think we can ride off into the sunset with him. Looks like we have competition, so I might need to sweeten the deal. Give him a big bag better than anyone else, and it still looks like we're going to have a tough time landing him. Linebacker's a big need here, so Odafe would be great. Quick look at our active negotiations, and dang, we went and signed four of them, Mark Andrews included. Now officially on the clock, round one pick 11 in the draft. How can we continue to build what we've been working on? I see a lot of linebackers up top and I know this isn't going to be the sexy pick but Caden Proctor the big left tackle from Alabama a much needed addition on the line got to build in the trenches and hold on now he doesn't look quite like his picture does he 76 in true value drafting him at 11 looks like I reached quite a bit but man I'm just a little thrown off here the trend continues our second pick is another offensive lineman at this time left guard time to build a reliable wall for Genty and then of course all the dust devils that are about to come up through this program crazy value with this pick. Luke Haas is incredible here. Elite grades on like everything. The best tight end by a mile. I think at the end of the first round, I forgot I had a third pick. I need to go with him even though I just brought in Mark Andrews as either insurance there or can quickly convert him to a receiver. Dude is a monster on the stat sheet, eighth in true value. Very obvious theme here, building the line with three of our top four picks. And then Luke Haas out of Arkansas, just a physical specimen. This is how the team is shaping up going into season number three. Offense looks really good. Defense still has some holes for sure. Corners and defensive line could use some improvement. But all in all, man, this team is looking snazzy. I think you get the gist of the idea by now. The Texas Twisters are gonna continue to try to be good, but it's 
it's up to the minor league Dust Devils to go ahead and put a product together that will supplement this team in the NFL. This is what we're working with over in Ritzville. Remember, we're loaded with underclassmen on the offensive side of the ball. And better yet, they're all starters, so let's put them to the test against the LSU Tigers in Death Valley. No easy place to play at all. But that's why I'm here in year three to see if our team's all about it. Any NFL caliber guys here about that action? We'll find out. So far, not off to a great start. Fourth and two, it's a handoff. He just walks it in real easy. Suggs on offense needs to get the team moving and interceptions early in the game costly turnovers down 14 0 it's looking bleak two minute drill here gonna take a down to judovowski who just turns and runs with room oh my goodness what a play potential is the right word to identify this offense we can dust anyone just gonna need to get on the same page and make something happen. Shelly is the guy to go to in this situation. Fourth down, touchdown, dime. Hopefully it's not too late for the comeback. We have to make quick work of the LSU defense. How did Shelly miss that? Defense got us back into this position. We'll go right over the middle to Murphy. And on second and goal here in Death Valley, we're gonna bring this game within 10 points. Really feels like it's up to the defense to go ahead and get the job done. No, no, no. That touchdown's gonna seal it here in the fourth quarter. LSU fans go crazy. Today wasn't our day. We got dusted on by LSU. All in all, if we learned a thing or two from that LSU game that this season was not meant to be four straight losses before racking up a few wins, it just got rough. Five and seven. George looked as good as ever. Still can't really seem to figure anything out on the ground. Defense led by sophomore Tuggle could use some work. Even recruiting in year three was actually really difficult losing some key guys. At least we were able to snag five-star Adrian Woodhead and five-star gem Antoine bags fittingly so ready to get his nil bag from the twisters couple other four stars ready to make the commitment to the dust devils but yeah the pacific northwest was surprisingly competitive this year is that dr dre no it's dre proctor clemson versus ohio state in this year's edition of the national championship but i just realized i made the biggest blunder of all i got fired after this third season it was a big letdown from year number two so yeah now coaching vanderbilt that kind of defeats the purpose of what i was trying to do uh the video is not scrapped or ruined i guess yet because i guess i'll just keep an eye out on the ritzville players as they make their way to the nfl but my goodness i was trying to win an, a national championship for that team and they gave up on me too soon in the transfer portal only one ritzville dust devil hitting the porter it's felix aviles i thought he would be special no one headed to the nfl draft out of ritzville bro i'm so salty ritzville in year four went 11 and 3 this is a team that i built man they won the pac-12 championship handled southern miss in the armed forces bowl i just can't believe i got let go i seriously should have turned that setting off because i was gonna bring to y'all a national championship for ritzville which it looks very possible in the next year or two i would be in paradise if i was still coaching over here with guys like connor shelley he wants to go to the texas twisters projected round five i think he can get a bigger bag if he stays in college but hey he's got a protected pick same with Noah Dunham. Taking a look at Noah Dunham, he's got solid pass block and still a lot of room, no cap here in the power department. Connor Shelley, on the other hand, straight dog, 98 speed, 96 excel. Already as elusive as he's gonna get. At the next level, he can keep working on them hands. Six foot four out of Baton Rouge, gonna be a nice piece for the Texas Twisters. And there you go, the Texas Twisters in round three and round four make their first two pickups. Prestige is skyrocketing, overall is blocked. Blossoming. On the sidelines, yes, not coaching my Ritzville Dust Devils. I'm spectating to see how they do with George in his last senior season. He just throws an interception here to Vandy. A lot of stars developing though, especially across the defensive line and no pressure getting home as Vandy had all day. Across the middle, he's got a big connection down into the red zone. And right before half, chewing the clock, trying to get some points. 0-0 zero, zero defensive battle all first half until, well, maybe now they'll at least get three. Ritzville pressure too much. The Dust Devils are spinning it right now, looking for a great season season across the board ranked in the preseason bringing a 90 overall defense 88 overall offense they honestly have what it takes to go the distance just gotta sharpen it up looking to return the favor fourth and one handoff it's blown up now down by two touchdowns they have so many weapons will ritzville be able to make use of any 
big conversion. Talking about the red zone, I need to see some NFL caliber play out of these guys. George Suggs has been an all-star his first three seasons. In year five and senior season of the rebuild, I'm expecting his draft stock to just keep going up. What a touch pass for first and goal. Vandy has turned themselves into a nice little unit as well, which is an impressive turnaround in itself, given how they're playing in real life. But we're not here for Vandy. I'm sorry, Vandy fans. I'm here to see the Dust Devils take it to another level. So far, it seems hard to find the pay dirt until Nazir just takes off and scores a long, windy drive actually pays off here despite that touchdown ritzville could not mount anything else back up vanderbilt wins 14 7. i just want to come out and say that wouldn't happen if i was still coaching you guys another year of what could have been for ritzville nine and five dropped the championship game to oregon state ah man must be some coaching issues going on suggs is a dog 43 touchdowns and five and it's just better and better each and every season just about 150 touchdown passes in his storied career this is ritzville's all time passing leader and i think it's not going to be broken for a long time ty murphy and tobias are just next up to get drafted it's even pretty crazy to see our tight end kevin tutt playing up to a 94 david tuggle just got better and better each season decent campaign alongside craig stoke a ton of texas twister talent just in the nick of time these guys are gonna be the pieces that build out that Super Bowl roster. Mafu Manu Puna in the fourth round at left guard. Kevin the man Tut here, fourth round tight end. Ty Murphy in the second round. Three first rounders, Tyreek Jones, middle linebacker. Tobias the six foot four elite deep threat. And then Nazir, a platinum safety valve, 96 overall receiving back. Could be the next Christian McCaffrey-esque for the Texas Twisters. A surprising part to me is George Suggs did not get selected. So he's a free agent pickup by the Texas Twisters as he's moved on with insane stats. I can't believe he didn't get picked up. Those Ritzville Dust Devils couldn't get to the Texas Twisters any sooner. I mean, in year three for the Twisters, four and 13, just kept taking steps back. Shadur Sanders took a step back. Genty still trying to find his stride. Travis Hunter kind of fell off a cliff. It was hard to find some defense beyond guys like N'Kobe Dean and Jamal Adams. 12 and a half sacks for Carter Jackson, really the only highlight on the defensive line. As the Twister organization waited for the Dust Devils to arrive, Aiden Hutchinson and became a fixture on this defense. And despite getting up to a 90 overall team, the following year, they went six and 11. It's still dire out here. Where are the Dust Devils? Some absolute dogs like Adonis Bowman here, 82 overall from Cincinnati. These guys are the pieces that are coming together. And that's where this long game gets so good. The Dust Devils are protected free picks, meaning they get to come to us guaranteed in addition to our roster. I know, I know. NIL loophole, like I said. So without further ado, 86 in college, number six, and a clean shave on his beard and mustache. Connor Shelley joins the troops with his 98 speed. The six foot four speedster gonna slot in at wide receiver three on this talented roster. And folks, that takes us up to today. Let me introduce you to the newest Dust Devils turned twisters. With reinforcements arriving, this is preseason week one. Let's get a look at all the newest Dust Devils see if they have a place on the starting roster going into the season. Middle linebacker Tyreek Jones and free agent quarterback pickup George Suggs. I think they are locked and loaded. However, with Shadur Sanders here playing on the franchise tag, it's up to him. It's up to the Dust Devils. Let's see if they can turn into full-time twisters and get to the Super Bowl. In the preseason, Shadur Sanders, of course, going to get the first drive. In his sophomore season, it's Shelly. Four, six, the most experienced Dust Devil on this Twister roster. You already knew he was a superstar. It's Tobias Judavowski. He was number one in college number zero in the NFL. The big man receiver, deep threat Tobias, gonna be a big time playmaker here in his rookie campaign. Backups are in and Jalen Milrow is still on this team, but it won't be for long if he keeps making poor decisions. Jalen Milrow shaking up a little bit on that last one and look at who it is, George Suggs from the Dust Devils, the free agent pickup, his first play in the preseason, scrambling out of there, huge pickup. Sleeping on his draft stock, I think he can surprise a team or two with his moves. Working with the second stringers, I'm looking to see him impress to get a job 
on this team. Time expiring here. Just going to chuck one last ball up deep to Dobson, who completes it and scores. Are you kidding me? Right at the halftime touchdown twisters. What a dime from Suggs right into his lap. Gorgeous spiral. Boom. In there. Preseason. Beautiful connection. Ritzville proud across this roster. It's going to be fun. It looks like this year we really are out to prove that money can win championships. I mean, can you tell? This is insane. George Suggs looks certified after completing that play. My goodness. With Jalen Milrow going down, this game alone is certifying Suggs as the number two quarterback. Milrow has been a serviceable backup at best, but my goodness, the defense fell short and blundered this game away. Only preseason. I like what I saw out of Suggs. Dropped one in opening week to the Giants. Yes, I know the Giants. Little bit of PI here will set us up. As we're looking for vengeance against the Chiefs, give me a win. A lot of key old and new players out here. Mark Andrews, Shadur Sanders, touchdown. Let's get the party started. Like you saw in preseason, I'm really excited to have these guys making the roster. Tobias Judavowski to first and goal. I think the superstar is going to be a real big game changer, but no other game changer quite as big as 99 overall. Travis Hunter. Patty Mahomes must be getting a little old out here because we're giving him the business, ready to beat his team out of here. And that's exactly what we're here to do. A little touchdown to Shelly, Dust Devil connection for six. That is what I'm talking about. The long game strategy finally paying off. We invest NIL dollars into a college, start it up, rebuild them. Don't need to remember the part where coach got fired, but hey, the players, the players is what it's about. And we got them here firing away, putting up points. Everything was going well until Shitter came down with an injury. Thankfully, it's just a bruise. You know what that means. Suggs getting his NFL debut action, not counting preseason, of course. So real in-game scenario. Okay, he came in for one play. Shitter's already back, but I'm just saying, man, I'm getting excited for Dust Devil football. Dust Devils are starting to litter this roster, but Genty's a Boise State proud. And shoot, man, I don't think the Chiefs have been this exposed back since, uh, I don't know, the Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey days. We're out here in the future. It's like 2029 or something. Mahomes getting a little gray hair not ready for the youth movement here in DFW. The Chiefs game was indicative of things to come. Toby's Judavowski man had himself a campaign, 1,000 yards and seven touchdowns. Gotta give it up for Shelly as well, 709. Our boy Tyreek Jones with two sacks and an interception, 86 tackles, definitely a key contributor. But shoot, man, signing Aiden Hutchinson continues to pay dividends. The formula seemed pretty straightforward, bring in a bunch of dust devils, combine it with the rebuild efforts here in Texas, and voila. Ah, 11 and 6 is the result of wild card berth against the Baltimore Ravens. Pretty even on paper. You already know we're going to jump in this playoff run and see how far we can go with Dust Devil reinforcements. Because trust me, it's a long way to the top. And it starts on the road against Baltimore. Ravens still flocking. Lamar still kicking it. And we are underway. I must admit, I really like how the away unis turned out. And you already know I'm going to get a heavy dose of Mark Andrews. It's only fair for what they did after kicking him to the curb in Baltimore. He's going to shine out here in Texas. Starting the playoffs with a bang. Travis Hunter in the corner. You already know. Twister is going to be twisting their way all playoffs long. Clearly, Lamar Jackson's never won to be outdone. He's going to give it his all in this home matchup. Tyreek Jones, Dust Devil alumnus, first round pick, blows this thing up with a sack. Come on, baby. Let's go. I can almost guarantee you that every other NFL team is going to be looking into starting their own college based on the success we've had over here in Texas. Taking their three-point attempt, they cash in, and we're going to have ourselves a battle. Going to look across back to Travis Hunter. And now to cap off the drive, fourth down here. I'm looking, surveying, scrambling. No good. Generous change of position here based on the defensive safety going to Tobias. It's the playoffs. We need to take our points point blank. Now we're up by two possession. Not really sure what happened today to the Ravens, but in the playoffs when they needed to be here most, they vanished. In fact, this could be it. The dagger. If Tobias gets open, if Shader can find someone. Oh yes. Dust Devil Supreme while getting hit, doing an army crawl. That's going to seal this wild card matchup. None other than the man himself. That was insane sideline work right here. Catch and secure touchdown. Clocking 
out of Baltimore with that big sweet win. After that, we now take on the Colts in the divisional round. Looks like the Dallas Cowboys lost to the Bears, so we won't have a chance to see them. Anthony Richardson looks to continue to be that guy here in Indianapolis, but it don't matter. We're road warriors, Shitter Sanders and team. Gonna settle for three here. Really appreciate the defense stepping up. Another no score affair right now for the Colts. Travis Hunter secures it for the touchdown, calling his name. There goes that man again, hitting a twerk. Shader can do more damage if he gets the fourth down completion here, finds his trusty receiver, Tobias Jodowski. Touch down. Colts are going down, man. This is crazy. Elite dev in college football 25. Superstar right now in Madden. I was complimenting the defense earlier, but I don't know what the heck happened here going in the second half. Thankfully, quick strike to Mark Andrews. Going to put our team right back up on top sure locked in here two minute drill could not connect with genty all we need is field goal range if we can achieve that we will go ahead and win this ball game mark andrews rumbling today up the middle trust in ashton genty haven't heard much from shelly but you don't need to when you got a receiver like judovowski out here making the chains move a money drive needed this and some at the end of this ball game colts burned all their timeouts genty to the left got the angle got the edge lower in the head it's first and goal. But all we're gonna do is chew clock and set up for the game winning field goal. I'm not gonna score any earlier than needs to be. Was there a injury timeout? I don't know why the clock's not going. Took our penalty just so we can run it one more time. I'm not even gonna cash in. And he fumbled and I should have cashed in. Are you kidding me? Literally just stood there and I should have gone down. What the heck? Booth review, please. In a shocking turn of events, they deem it no fumble. Wow, my heart just jumped out of my chest here at the end of this game. So we'll go ahead and kick the field goal for the win. As time expires, they dodge a bullet. Texas, that is. Indianapolis just got hosed. I'm sorry, guys. It looked really promising there for a split second, but that's it the game in the AFC championship game the Chiefs looking for revenge exposed them one time already in the season looking to do it again making this place Shaduro head you get it Burrow head Shaduro head of course in the AFC championship game this will be no light ask we're gonna have to go all out here Shelly fighting for the end zone I'm telling you man these dust devils were NFL ready they continue to make an impact just like Travis Hunter's never stopped the game still has a lot of time left but we just have their number I don't know what it is is they're getting decimated 14-0 make it 21-0 with a dust devil alumnus touchdown Shelly came to play today Connor O'Connor catch and run Shador laid it in the money getting a little chippy out there Chiefs getting salty all the more reason we need to stay composed and deliver ball after ball after ball. Shader having a truly inspirational game right now. 260 yards, three touchdowns, and it's not even halftime. What can't this man do? I'm gonna take off to our right, avoid the pressure. I think Andrews actually could make a play here. Intercepted, but there is a flag. I wonder if PI is involved. What did I say? Put it at the one. Now in the jumbo package, Genty, the topper touchdown. Andy Reid, definitely a good guy to coach your team. He's turned it around in the second half. Down within six. It's crazy the comeback they're on right now. And oh no, he's dropped. And that looked painful. Two minute warning to give Shadur a little breather. And then he's going to step up on this one and get decked again. Rib shot supreme 69. And oh my goodness, Shadur went down. You see who's in. Has not played in a minute because Shadur has been running this offense all regular season but it's up to Suggy. Dust Devil Supreme, he needs to lead the team forward. Came in through one ball, picked up 10 yards, got his team down to a 33 yard manageable field goal. They're up by nine. Maybe they can just hold on and get to next week. Here we go, fourth and goal. Mahomes surveys, steps up to scramble. Tyreek Jones chasing him down with a defensive end in the backfield, dropping him. That's the game. Mahomes denied this is no longer arrowhead it's texas head baby i may or may not have spoken a little too soon i guess the chiefs get the points 
and onside kick does not go their way. So now it's over. It belongs to Texas. A little too close for comfort, but we're headed to the Super Bowl. Going to be interested to see how Shader's feeling. If he can't go, it's going to be up to that man right there, number 16, fresh out of Ritzville, Washington. And here we are, the climax, the apex of NFL football, the Super Bowl game against the Atlanta Falcons, and they're already up seven to nothing. This is not a good look, and more bad news on the sidelines. Shadar Sanders could not suit up for this game. My man was dealing with some swelling that he just could not get over. Now 14-0, it is seriously up to Suggs to become a hero. We need the Ritzville alumni to become a superhero, and he can do that just by hitting his former receivers. It's a sweet, sweet reunion for these former teammates in college. Now doing it in the NFL, Suggs takes it in, plunges forward, touchdown. If I had to guess, I'm going to say that our defense is going to cause a lot of issues out on this field, but we absolutely have the talent to get it done on offense. Mark Andrews, just one of those key pickups from a couple years back. Could not manage to get a ring with Lamar Jackson, so I want to get him a ring in Texas, but that interception from Suggs, not going to cut it. Don't let this distract you. Tom Brady came back from a 28 deficit. We can do the same, have our own little version here today. Shelly was in the basket, just straight up dropped the money. I cannot be having that on this field. Andrews, before time expires at half though, gets us a touchdown closer. Time to put this thing into hyperdrive. I don't know what else there is we could do. See if we can just catch any of the defense napping. Maybe on this lob play, if Travis can get there. Shoot, that was this close to being exactly what we needed. Yes, right into Andrew's lap. Like mad men, we're coming down this field. Andrews, you're so good. I'm impressed by the way Suggs is turning it up in this game. Can we connect? Yes, Travis Hunter. Don't give up on us now. With one quarter to go, we're almost past midfield, two touchdowns away. Little play action here, maybe something can develop. Our tight end's been big all day long. Oh my goodness, what a catch. Let's see if Andrews can continue to wreak havoc on the defense. Oh my goodness. Score your six, get us within a touchdown. We have three minutes to work. Do you believe in miracles? Tom Brady's literally the only other person that's ever done this to the Atlanta Falcons and we missed a wide open streak. Tom Brady would have never done that. But I gotta give Suggs the rookie some slack here. His first ever big game. Just need him to clean it up here on this huge play. Third and 18, go Travis, go. Don't you dare slow down, first down. Calling a quick audible, seeing if Travis Hunter, yes, he gets open sideline, toe drag, what? I guess they'll say he didn't get his feet in bounds. So now we're back second and 10. Yo, Andrews burning right through the defenders. He could go all the way. Oh my goodness kryptonite for the falcons andrews has been a dog they said it couldn't be done but suggs has led his team down from a major deficit and just about to tie this thing up it's a fitting end to the super bowl overtime one thing i never really asked is how did they get here at eight wins but it did not matter because this was the play on overtime drive finishing it off with an Ashton Genty touchdown. And here we go. Ring them Texas Twisters, baby. What a fun place to be right now in Texas. I guess the Dallas Cowboys did get a ring during this simulation. I was about to say a comment about how we did it faster than Dallas could, but hey, this was insane. The newest expansion team came out here and created a team had the strategy to go set up a college so they can build a pipeline that lasts them for as long as they possibly exist. Suggs was the man. What a stud today. The recruiting strategy paid dividends because when Ritzville players became NFL ready, you already see the result. They came in and had a huge impact on how this thing turned out. Suggs stepped up and proved he was ready. I hope you enjoyed this concept of like a NIL slash minor league team, feeder program, whatever. Something in that ballpark was where my mind was headed. And now we got to see those players come up through college and make a difference here for the Super if you want to keep soaking it up with your boy King Sponge, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next.